Hello guys and welcome back to another tutorial. Today what we're going to take a look at is basically repeaters and what repeaters do to make things a lot easier for people when you're working with long procedures. So I've set up a uh, command that if we were to type slash 10 it will print out 10 numbers in a row using a repeater. So as you can see above it starts with a number one and then counts down all the way to 10. So let's hop into mprinter and I'll show you how that all works. So first things first, where can you find the repeater and how to set it up? So let's go to the flow control and then what we can do is under the uh, return options down here, what we see is repeat and then there is a blank space for basically a number operator or some sort of number component and then the times that we want to repeat it. And then under that there is the while and do, that's something completely different but it's similar. If we pull out the this box right here, as we do that uh, we can also grab a number variable, go to math and then drop this in and then we can set it to how much we want. You can also use variables, uh, both MBT tag or MBT variables and local variables as well as global variables with this particular system as well for the numbers. Now for the, the way I have it set up here, what I've done is I've created a local variable and then I went to variables and then I set the variable. Now we want this to be at the top this time because we want to start the number with one. If we put it below it like this, it's gonna start with zero. And if we put it above here, then it's gonna start with one because the we haven't set the variable if it's after the time that it basically outputs the message. So we need it above. So then what I've done is I've gone and grabbed the operator math operator and then I've basically added that here I have then gotten the variable for that local variable and then I've basically increased that one so now that we have the number increasing every 10 times so the variable will go from 1 to 10 uh, like you saw in the actual video like in the uh, in, in game so now we need to print out the text. So I went to player procedures, I scrolled down until send message and then the message. And then I just got rid of the message part. And then I went to text, create text with, and then I clicked on the gear icon and then I removed one of these boxes and then I placed that in here. Now by default, if you're working with variables, if you were to output the message directly, from the get variable. This will output a point form as well. So it would be 1.0, 2.0, 3.0. To fix that, what we can do is go back to math and then drop in a round operator. And then we can put our variable in there as well. And what that will do is it'll just make it a solid number. So how is this uh, basically useful? If we were to want to do this, repeat this message 10 times, we would normally have to do something like, if we were to go back to our player procedures and grab the message thing again, what we would have to do is basically start with one and then paste another one, set two, set three and count all the way up until we got to 10. So basically what we've done with this little box right here is taken a total of 10 different procedure blocks. And what we have done is only made it into a very compact system. So it does the exact same thing, just basically takes all that extra blocks that would normally have to be repeated one at a time and we put it into a system that will work efficiently for multiple things and is customizable. So hopefully you guys found this video tutorial helpful. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.